welcome back to my channel it's namibian girl humor also known as jennifer also known as the girl that's a model whatever i am here to tell you guys about a story time about how i was clowned that clownery <laughs> me and this guy we're gonna keep him anonymous you know what we're gonna name him jonas so me and jonas <laughs> we dated for four years um yeah so jonas i was getting to know jonas i actually don't remember how i got to know jonas um i think through friends through mutual friends jonas used to like we would just randomly spontaneously meet like i would be i remember the only time i remember was like i was coming from shop four and I'm walking home. Shop 4 is a supermarket in Northwich Bay. And I'm walking home and I see Jonas. And Jonas is there. Like, he found me I was walking. And so Jonas walked me home. And then, like, it just became like a regular thing. Like, everywhere we meet, he would always just walk me home first. And he would, like, always walk me home. Like, anywhere that he would find me, even, like, after the club, he would just, like, walk me home. So, um... I don't know I think a week went by two weeks went by and then of getting to know Jonas you know I just used to hear, hear about Jonas but I didn't know Jonas most of all. I he was in a relationship actually he was in a relationship that's why we couldn't be together but mind you he would always like walk me home oh the hair looks so good guys <laughs> So, um, yeah, Jonas was in a relationship by then. So I was like, okay, cool. Jonas, you're in a relationship. It's I, my guy. Like, we can be friends. I don't mind. Ah, Jonas, bomb net goeders, I was just like, no, dude, like, you're in a relationship. First, you, need, first, you guys need to break up if you actually want to be with me. Um, I was like, seven, 16 by the time, I think. Yeah, 16. I was like, 11th grade. So yeah, um, I think I don't know how many years, ugh, years, weeks went by, or months went by, or days went by, and then I heard no, Jonas came up to me and he was like, yeah, I'm, we broke up, we're not together anymore, and I was like, oh okay, cool, if you say so, and then he courted me again, and then we started dating, but then <laughs> first clownery happened was. We were like we were like the couple okay like everybody knew about us everybody knew that we were dating why wow, like his friends would court me while they know I'm dating him and I was just like what kind of friends are this so um fine we were dating we, like everyone knew we were dating they would literally call me Jonas skull they wouldn't even call me on my name they would call me Jonas's girl. <laughs> okay, fine. So it was a great relationship. Um, he was the only guy till now, till today, that I've ever introduced to my mother. It was like the weirdest meeting ever. <laughs> First, he would always sneak into our house, and my mom would always like be like, "Yeah, there's a burglar in here. There's somebody trying to break in. We always see footsteps." You know, and I just feel like, dude, just calm down. It's my boyfriend. And she's like, I want to meet this guy. I want to meet this guy. And I was just like, oh. yo, guys, when your mom's a Taurus, man. So fine. I introduced him to my mom. And, you know, welcomed him with open arms. He was part of the family. Like, all my siblings were a fan of him all of them were like so like welcoming and supportive and just there for us you know and my mom was just happy to see me with someone and yeah my mom she's like a really understanding person she never really made me feel like um small you know um she never she always gave me freedom she gives all of us freedom of choice like you could do whatever you want just know what you're doing and know that you have you will have to deal with the consequences of it fine so um yeah clownery number one was 
so me and Jonas are out do you mean we are clubbing we are doing the things because I believe in doing everything with my man most of them. so me and Jonas were dancing what were he for Jonas two ear in your own gebial I'm like Jonas he bells you no it's a that time we were still in high school no it's a classmate what 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 I'm like two ear in your own but you're gebial or was that that by a classmate. Oh, okay, fine. I was like, no, come on, let me see who, who this classmate, who is this classmate person? No, my dear. And the person he doesn't want to show me his phone. I'm like, okay, cool. And then we argued about it. Like, we were literally throwing each other with water. Like, cause I was just like, I was just like, I was like, no, really out of like them there were so many mini clowneries that i was just like i'm gonna let it go like him not answering my messages on time him not answering my calls like three days they put on the phone and said <laughs> and then i was just fed up like i was fed up to me the guy even brought bought me like a promise ring So we were fighting, we were arguing, not fighting physically, but just like we threw each other with water. And then like I took the ring and I threw it in his face, all dramatic, romantic movies, Chinese uh, whole scene. And I was just like, I don't want to do this anymore. And I walked home. And then when I got to my house, he was sitting in front of my house. <sighs> I'm second clownery. We are, I'd say, I think me, we just, we were just, he was just a different person when he was when we're out with people like when he was drinking he was just a whole different person like he didn't care it was like i don't exist it's just like yeah like whatever you think about me is irrelevant i don't wanna i don't give a fuck this is who i am this is how you found me and i'm not gonna compromise for shit that's how i felt you know with all his clownery i was just like you just didn't appreciate me as a person you didn't appreciate me in your life Maybe you liked the idea of dating me, but you were just, you just, I, you make sure I felt fucking invincible with you. And just like, I am just here for show. Guys, man, I look popping. I'm popping today. Fine. We're in the bar. We're drinking. His friends is there. I'm there. Like, I'm a girl like when I have a man's I'm just about my man's life I'm in my man's world I want to get to know my man's friends because when my man's is in my life nah, he will know everything about me because I just it's just like for me it's just normal it's just mandatory it's just something that I do out of my own free will I don't have to feel like oh I need to date you for like two weeks for you to know my friends Plus, Swabish is very small, like everybody knows everybody. So based, obviously he did all the research that he had to do on me to know who are my close friends. So we're hanging out, whatever. And like, I'm just close to him. Like I'm, I'm a very clingy person. Like I'm a really clingy person in a relationship. I love affection so much and attention, um, but I'm not like needy, but I like it, you know? Um, and I'm just there, I'm close to him, you know? And he just felt like, I'm doing the most. I'm supposed to go hang out with my friends. I guess not other And now in my head, I'm like, you know, babes, like you're my man. So basically, like his friends were my friends as well. I know they're not like my friends, my friends, but like I can hang out with them. Like if you're not here, they can take care of me or like they can make sure or whatever. I can hang out with them if my friends are out of town or something. You know, he wasn't happy with that idea. But I'm always just around him because I'm a brat almost, but I'm a brat, and I'm just like. But uh, just it was just like a lot of toxicness in that relationship. It was so toxic, and I stayed at him for four years because I was really in love with him. I really loved him. I really still do care about him deeply, um, and we still stay in contact. Sometimes um, when I was lost back home, I saw him. We had a really good talk. Like it was just so chill. Like I really enjoy having him around now because I just forgave him for everything that happened. And um, it's life. It happens. So I and I guess I had to go through that experience to become the woman I am today. Yay! 
Chummy! So the third clown was, I'm checking through his phone. <laughs> and all the numbers, all the messages, all the names are saved backwards. So now I'm like, what's going on? And like, why, why can't I read this phone? Like, why can I, I can't make out who he's texting? Hmm. My dear. Third clownery, it was just like, when we started dating, like all these random people just came up, were just coming, to, they were just becoming important in our relationship. Like, he's, 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 he's flings that he had with people. Like, the clownery list is so big, guys. It's so horrible. Like, it's just a lot. Like, there's some things that I feel like I'm not even, like, comfortable talking about because I'm, like, not just, like, ready to talk about it. That happened. And it was just, like, so traumatizing and gruesome. And it hurts that, you know, I just have to accept it because it's, like, a thing of it was done unknowingly. And I feel like if he knew what he was doing, he wouldn't have done what he did. And um, I just don't know how to face him about it. I don't think I ever will be able to have that courage to face him about it. And like, I just, it's just like, it's just stuck. It's like, it's like structured in my mind to think that those acts that happened that I felt was really gruesome and horrifying happened while we were in a relationship. So I basically feel like He felt like he had the right to do that and um, I feel like having that conversation with him will have to take me a few more years to actually sit down with him and have it have that conversation with him you know um, yeah so I don't know clownery number what we, we, we are at so I had the clownery as well of his ex his obsessive ex just being in our relationship as well and it was just like you know like later on in the because we like when we would break up he would be dating her and like it got to a point where i just lost respect for him as a person i was just like this is what you do you just like recycle people that you date are you scared of commitment are you scared of getting out of your comfort zone like just what was i was i a test you know and it was just like so many things that happened i don't know why i was that girl that went through people's phones but i just felt like i just couldn't trust him and i texted like and i would look at who he was texting and i was texting this one girl and i was just like but she would text him like horrible things like she would be like fuck you don't fucking talk to me like that you're such an asshole and i was just like say that is the practical and then hmm My dear, we break up. I, cause I was like, dude, like it's my final year. I need to go to Vinduk. I need to go and um, like I didn't perform well at all at all, and I wanna go and upgrade my grades. And I don't think he was happy about that, so I think we broke up. I'm not sure if what if it was that exactly that why we broke up, um, but we broke up. And uh, I was probably like. We broke up for like two months like not but like it was two months in of the breakup now and then i just got like messages from friends telling me that there's a girl pregnant with his child and i'm like what it's just been two months how and then like, i was just like fuck i was hurt i was devastated i was really hurt i was like Yo, man, if you wanted kids, we could have talked about it. We could have had a conversation. I thought we were doing this together. Like, I thought, because he was still in high school. So, um, I was just like, I have to go and, you know, fill my dreams. And, like, we just didn't have the conversation. He knew that I was going to become a model and I was going to go. But he just didn't ever have that conversation with me about wanting to have kids or what's going to happen to us after high school. Um, and he just did what he felt was right for him and yeah he had a kid with someone else and I was really devastated and then I was like you know because I was still very in love with him so it's okay like I want to be with you like I love you and 
I was just super understanding, but I was so understanding. I was just like, it's okay, it's not the baby's fault. Like, it's not, it's not the baby's fault. Um, the baby's here already. Like, if you still want to be with me, we can be together. We can make this work. <sighs> I was so strong, bro. I was so strong. Sometimes I miss that mental ness, strongness that I had, mental strength that I had back then. We dated again. We did a bit of long distance and then I came back and um, we dated, we tried dating, we tried making it work, but I think it worked out really well because we were really, really in love with each other. We really loved each other and we really wanted to be in each other's lives. We're dating and then clownery number six case, number seven, where was counting? <laughs> Now, my mom used to bribe man in front of Desert Store, the Jadina. Um, so I used to like help her like set up, like she would sell like every, like all kinds of meats and foods. And I would always help her, you know, set up everything. And I was like already a little bit known. I don't know why, maybe because like me and my best friend would always just like have photo shoots in front of like a garage and like, we were popping on Facebook. Chubby, you remember those years when Facebook was popping? We were the ones that was popping with Facebook as well. And then like this girl, like she was with a girl that I knew. Her name was, the girl that I knew, her name was Jay. We're gonna, we're gonna, call, her, we're gonna call her Jay. Uh, like that was not after school life, you know, like a year out of school. And she was with another girl and the girl was just like, Hey, how are you? Oh my God, I'm such a huge fan of yours on Facebook and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, okay, hi. Like, I didn't know. She just like jumped into the conversation while we were talking. Oh, but like I could feel her staring at me, you know? And she's like, yeah, I love, I, I'm a huge fan of yours. And I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. And then they left. And I come the girl, wait. His friend, one of his friends was like, dude, like, there's this girl that I need to tell you about that I think he is seeing this girl um, and I was like what what are you talking about and then he showed me the picture and I was like I met this girl I met this girl she was like yeah she's a huge fan of mine whatever whatever and my like Jonas's friend was like and I was like what do you mean they like it's like I'm dating him he was just like I'm just telling you bra kind of asked him about it he's like it's not true and you know i'm a girl man in a relationship i'm just like i'm gonna take your word i asked you you had an opportunity to be honest with me and you decided to lie to my face so that's still on you like it has nothing to do with me like yes i will be affected by your lie of course but like it doesn't it has nothing to do with me if you lie to me that's on you if you lie to me that's on you he said no he doesn't know her they don't know each other you've never heard of her they've never heard anything and then I think they uploaded a picture together or she uploaded a picture of them you know this Facebook that was a problem that's how people were like putting their relationships out on social media they would just post a picture together to me and the people are together okay I guess it still works now but like in on Facebook it was like my tea popping I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Like, you said you guys don't know each other, so, but you have a, you have a picture together, like, like, before that, I had to go back to Ventuk to go do, to go write my grade 12 exams, but during my grade 12 exams, I was going through this, I was going through these things, as, you can just imagine the heartache I was having. The heartache I was going through, guys. <laughs> because I saw the, the the Facebook thing. Like I actually called him. I couldn't ask him in person. And he was just like, "Yeah, I'm busy now." What, 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 what? And then like I was just like, "Then it's fine. Let's just break up." You know, like you obviously chose who you want to be with, so it's completely fine. And then he was just like, "Yeah, it's yeah." He didn't even defend himself. It's there, but I it's a, I struggled to get this man back in my life, and like just like I think that the beginning, the end of twenty, the beginning of twenty seventeen, I think twenty eighteen, I'm not sure. 
and I was he was just trying to get back into my life and I was just like not letting it happen I would agree to it and I would just not let it happen <laughs> like just like I would still hang out with him and his friends and everything hanging out like Casper Nuevez it was actually that day when Casper Nuevez came to Wallfish Bay in March early March I don't know which year was that that day because yeah we went to the show and then we were hanging outside and then i heard um then i heard no apparently girla girla but for i'm such a huge fan of yours what 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 he's pregnant with jonas's kid guys i was just like you know what you know what guys washing my hands i am giving up on him i'm gonna give up on us i should have probably given up a long time ago but you know the heart the heart wants what it wants and i had to get to a place i had to go to a space mental space somewhere where i had to just accept that he's who he is and i can't change that about him you know i miss that mental strength i had guys because i don't have it anymore and me just to be like oh it's above me now i still want to fix things <laughs> i just need to forgive you or else i'll forever be bitter and i don't want to be a bitter person um we are you are a, a good person and you can be really shitty and that's not for me to judge you on it's god to judge you on but um yeah the clownery was real guys i was in denial i thought i could change him but we were young i don't even want to say we were young we were kids but we were and this is also one one pep talk not to date guys in their early 20s guys just let them live their best lives let them kiss who they want to kiss hug who they want to hug because really we have to stop trying to be enough for people that don't want you no that's no gla you have to you know appreciate yourself as well but yeah guys that's how i got clowned and what i learned from the clownery you're in love with someone even how toxic they are you can't change them you just you just wait when you're ready and you let go when you're ready that's all from your girl that's all from your girl jennifer See you on the next vlog.